During one of our live sessions, we got a question from one of our viewers about career change from embedded to VLSI. Embedded system domain generate large number of employment and very suitable domain for electronics and communication engineers. So we have extended scope of discussion for today's topic. Today we will discuss opportunities and future job trend in embedded system and also try to understand whether domain shift from embedded to VLSI is possible or not. If you have similar question or query in mind, stay tuned till the end of the video. Embedded means something that is attached to another thing. An embedded system can thought of as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it. An embedded system is a microprocessor or microcontroller based system of hardware and software. It is designed to perform dedicated functions within a larger mechanical or electrical system. Such a system could be of various size and different computational complexities. At core, an embedded system consists of three things. An input device which collects input from from user or environment via a sensor or remote control. A microcontroller that is the brain or the processing unit. It instructs the output device to perform as per the logic defined inside the collected information from input device. And finally an output device which take instruction from microcontroller and perform accordingly. Microwave, TV, calculator, audio player, digital camera, printer, traffic lights, digital thermometer, set-top box, Wi-Fi router, modem are some popular consumer electronics product which we use day-to-day -day basis and all of them are example of embedded systems. Embedded system is a vast domain. There are huge number of products which are field specific like products used in medical electronics sector, aerospace, automobiles, defense, toys, consumer electronics, food industry, telecommunication, industrial machines, space, agriculture, mining, construction, all of them are example of embedded system. So obviously mentioned field has huge scope of employment. All the leading brand in consumer electronics, Medical equipment, automotive industry can offer employment in the very domain. Now let's see what are the skills required for such jobs. Programming skill. Earlier embedded system was mostly hardware a little software but now the scenario is exactly opposite. The most important programming language required is C. Basic to moderate knowledge of C++, LabVIEW, Python, Rust and assembly language can also be helpful. Working knowledge of interfacing microcontrollers with different sensors and peripherals, kernel programming, device drivers, real-time operating system are also very helpful. Number two, circuit designing skills. Understanding of circuits, printed circuit boards, power supply circuit designing, sensors, microprocessors, memory, CAD and other subjects can be useful for system engineers. Number three is analytical skills. System engineers usually work with large volumes of product data and information to design effective solutions. Knowing basic analytical models and tools can be beneficial for system engineers. Communication skills. Embedded system engineers coordinate with several experts from the production hardware, software management and product design departments. Collaborating with other engineers to exchange feedback and work as a team is essential for system engineers. They may also have to maintain meticulous records and documentation of their process, which requires strong written communication skills. Attention to detail. Designing software systems for embedded device is a complex process and requires focus and attention to small details. Some other skills are very basic and essential for accomplishing work responsibility on day-to-day -day basis, such as self-learning ability. Electronics is a market-driven subject and self-learning ability will help someone to upgrade with time. Interest in learning new hardware, patience to read and analyze data sheets, documentation as per company norms, following software development cycle or SDLC, working in a team, completing work in deadlines, making reports as per the company requirement. Now let's get an idea which kind of scope of work this domain offers. We have listed some popular job role in embedded systems domain, biomedical engineer, responsible for design, development safety, testing, repair and maintenance of biomedical equipment. Ensures the equipment is working with proper functionality and quality control standards. Requires a bachelor degree and 0-2 to two years of direct experience in the field. Embedded system architect. A person in this job role is responsible for designing and implementing software of embedded devices and systems.
system, review and design code, integrate and validate new product designs, develop system software, etc. Proven work experience in software engineering required for this position. Third is embedded software engineer. In this job role, engineer is responsible for development of embedded software programs required to collaborate and work according to client specifications and needs. Client facing communication skills are necessary, often needs to work as part of a larger team. Specialized degree in embedded software engineering is needed. Embedded system engineer responsible for design, development, production, testing and maintenance of embedded systems, run regular tests to eliminate potential issues, provide system level support working, system level support working with cross-functional teams like mechanical software, hardware, etc. System engineer provides subject matter expert level experience in software and hardware integration. Computer science or engineering degree required. Next is pharma engineer responsible for creating software used in programmable devices designs and implements algorithms for firmware and create technical documents for firmware usage oversees firmware development process from design to creation manages updates and provides support may be asked to alter existing software based on company needs firmware engineering certification required for this kind of post hardware engineer responsible for all aspects of electrical system design which includes high speed digital power management PCB layouts and thermal management collaborates with algorithm and software team works directly with system architecture farmer mechanical and electrical engineers requires a bachelor degree in related field another position is hardware test engineer responsible for design implementation and testing of hardware system a bachelor degree in computer science or related field is mandatory mobile app developer responsible for writing software for hardware functionality on various handheld mobile devices bachelor's degree and extensive software development experience required printed circuit board designer responsible for design and development of circuit boards background in software engineering or multiple years of experience designing circuit board is required next is R&D engineer responsible for researching and creating new products and test existing products for this position an engineering background is preferred another position is software test engineer responsible for developing and implementing testing methods reporting test result and recommending improvements to software software programs. Job requirements typically includes a bachelor degree along with excellent technical skill, communication skill and creativity. Like any domain, initial packages are not very high. Although experience of 3 to 4 years, you will get attractive packages and experienced embedded system developer have extremely high demand in India. A frequently asked question is whether embedded system is a good career option. Yes, obviously, for those who has inclination and basic subjective degree like ECE, it's a great match for them. To accelerate your preparation, you can join online courses. Now let's see what are the future scope in embedded systems. We already have a video and a blog article where we have discussed about future trends in embedded system. Both the video and article links will be provided in the description box. Here we will discuss about future trending job roles. Online viewing is increasing and accordingly the use of embedded system and IoT is growing rapidly. We have listed some job roles which will be on high demand such as engineering embedded Linux responsible for developing low-level components along with significant embedded limitations and running the unit test on them. Another position is embedded IoT application developer. Responsibility includes design and develop embedded software in C and C++ for various apps. Compliance checking of new product solution. Number three is cybersecurity embedded developer. Responsibility includes designing APIs to keep user data safe, understanding hardware security module, public key infrastructure, transport layer, security and typical application security flaws testing and troubleshooting fourth category is embedded application engineer responsibility includes managing the framework for embedded software working in open source stacks and apps enhancing skills in various programming languages consisting of embedded C and Python fifth is engineer of microcontroller firmware responsibility includes writing firmware for microcontrollers using C and C++ for designing and developing embedded software now the question is how to enter the domain in a nutshell getting a job require a few factors at the right place like demand in the company and supply of eligible 
eligible candidate. Before entering any domain, identify your interest and then get the right kind of education. If possible, enroll for course or courses in relative domain. Apply your knowledge to find internship, write your resume and apply for the job. Always keep yourself updated with latest trend in technology. And now let address the question with which we have started today's topic that is domain shift from embedded to VLSI. Now let's find answer to it. VLSI is a domain where a chip is designed on physical silicon. Fabricating a chip starting from a spec is the core of VLSI whereas embedded system is due of computer hardware and software designed for specific functions for the larger system. Few are working in embedded systems domain and have few years of industry experience. Leveraging that experience in VLSI domain is not possible. Moreover, once you have three to four years of experience, you have reached a point where you will get attractive salary, you have developed a good understanding of the industry and by now your networking also grown for good. Even after all these, if you are really interested to change the domain, first read about it. There are so much free material available in internet, read them. We have different in-depth series in Tech Simplified TV and articles on our technology blog techsimplifiedtv.in. Watch them or read them. You will have fair idea about the domain. In addition to that, you can go for paid course where you will get a certificate at completion. That certificate will help you. If you are determined enough, go ahead and start your journey. Hope this article will help you. A person who has worked in embedded systems with good programming skill can find some scope in R&D teams of EDA companies. For example, R&D teams of EDA companies require people from computer science or strong programming background. In many IP companies, CAT platform is designed by Tickle or C. A person with strong programming skill in these languages might get a chance to work. Moreover, system team, shipping team and delivery team require people with strong programming skill. If you are working in embedded systems background for quite some time and want to join VLSI or semiconductor industry, then first thing you must do is that try to understand where you stand with your skill set with respect to required skill set. That you can do by keeping a close eye on published job openings in different job portal or professional networking site. Try to understand the JD to find out which kind of skill set is required. If you have those skill set, then congrats, half of the work is done. If you lag in skill set, don't get upset. Make a plan to acquire those skill set. For domain knowledge of front end or back end or to know about the basics of different steps, VLSI flow, you may join some finishing school and after completion of the course, you will get a certificate. Try to gather some domain knowledge. You might aim to join any R&D team of an EDA company where you will contribute to develop an EDA tool. A little bit generic knowledge on how that tool will impact a customer's work or where actually in the VLSI flow it's used will help you during the interview. Now, once your preparation part is done, rewrite your resume and upload to multiple job portals. Also search for jobs on professional networking sites and apply. Although we would recommend don't plan such change if it's not absolutely necessary. Hope this discussion will help you. Share your comment, question with us. That is all for this episode. We will be back with another episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused. Oh,